So social justice has kind of become the new thing for gaming journalists to exploit when they're looking for attention, you know, to for their website or for themselves as writers. Um, a good a good example of this would be the uh, E3 rape joke that <laughs> that apparently was just you know a horrendous thing that occurred during the conference and uh, during the Xbox conference of of course, which you know was just kind of adding to the negative. Uh, portrayal of Microsoft during E3's conference, which uh, I think was sort of like planned or something, like everyone just decided to just totally take a, you know, complete dump on Microsoft at the conference when, honestly, they didn't, they didn't have too bad of a showing, I don't think, you know, that it wasn't perfect or whatever, but, you know, whatever. But so anyways, I was watching the multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty Ghosts the other day, and one of the last things they show in the trailer is the fact that you can play as female soldiers now. Um, and normally this normally this wouldn't and shouldn't be a big deal, but for some reason I have this feeling that someone's gonna take this the wrong way. Uh, Patricia Hernandez, for for example, might take this the wrong way. I don't mean the name drop, but I'm gonna name drop because she's one of the biggest freaking, you know, uh, uh, criminals of. I'm gonna call these people criminals if you're gonna sit there and make this bullshit up, but. Um, She's, uh, she's, she's good at catching people's attention. I suppose she's like the wrestling heels. You know, she'll say exactly what she needs to say to get people riled up, and you know, up in arms. And you know, the, the, these girls are backing her, and all the guys are like, really, really. <laughs> um, but I feel like people like her might take this as a as a opportunity to say, you know, oh, Call of Duty, you're now shooting these females online while you insult them. You know lying and now the females are oppressed even worse because the in-game characters are portrayed as weaker or something they're gonna make something up that's the point and <laughs> um, you know it, it shouldn't be this way and uh, it's it's gonna be funny to see uh, now there has been female characters in online multiplayer video games before you know uh, Halo has been able to play, you've been able to play as female characters in that since like Halo 2, uh, which was the first game to have online for that. Uh, if not, it maybe might have been Halo 3, I'm not sure. But you've been, able, you've been able to play as female characters in online games for a while. You know, MMOs, Mass Effect, I mean, the, the list goes on. There, there's a ton of games that I can't really list out because there'd be so many. Um, and that's not just me, not just me covering up the fact that I don't know. I'm just saying for the sake of time, uh, there's so many games that you can play as female characters, but Call of Duty is the big one. Call of Duty is the game that, you know, people have complained about, you know, not being able to play as a female. And, um, now that you can, they might take this as a way to say, oh, now you're shooting girls online, you know, and, and uh, you know, this is, this is, you know, <laughs> oppression, again, by the male, you know, the, the stereotypical white male dominance bullcrap. Um, when it when it honestly shouldn't be, I can totally see it happening because Call of Duty is one of those exploitable franchises where everyone loves to jump on and criticize, and you know it's a big name so in the media, so it's it's like a huge juggernaut nowadays, and uh, so most people know about it. It's got a big, it's like a, it's a really headline catching name, so you know major news outlets could pick it up and and like oh you, you can shoot these girls online, you know you shouldn't allow these kids to play games because they'll kill each other, and and. <laughs> And they'll kill women. They'll actually take a gun and kill women. I could totally see it happening, and I shouldn't. Like, what is is this going to be a big deal? Like, it, it shouldn't be. Like, I'm totally for it. I'm totally for girls being able to play as girls or boys. You know, vice versa, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter who you choose. But either way, you're able to be represented as your own gender, and that's great. So, why are you going to complain about it? But <laughs> I just have a sinking feeling that someone's gonna say something, and you know, I I honestly haven't uh, seen anyone get up in arms about it yet, but um, you know, mo a lot of the ghosts multiplayer criticism has been in the game itself, which again, this is just one trailer of the multiplayer. Honestly, you can't make an opinion solely based on that. Um, does it look like past Call of Duty? Of course it does. It's Call of Duty. It's not it's not known for you know, completely reinventing itself, it's more, it's, that's kind of like a publisher thing, or, you know, Activision definitely doesn't want Infinity War to take too many risks, 
Um, so yeah, a lot of people have crit like issues with the publisher, not the developer, in my opinion, with Call of Duty. Um, so yeah, but I, I, I really hope this doesn't turn into a social justice thing. It really shouldn't. It's just, you know, now you can play as a girl. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad because I, I was I was I was in the military and uh, there's a ton of females in there and they, they're you know they're just as tough as the men some of them some of them are <laughs> um, I have to be honest only some of them are there's a lot of I mean there, there's there's you know there's good and bad for male and female in the military but you know that's neither here nor there um, I'm just glad that you know we're getting an accurate represent, representation of the military now because women have been in it for a long time they've been at war you know they deserve to be in these war games and I'm glad that you know finally they get a chance to you know kick ass with the men um, so I guess that's about it guys uh, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and if you didn't I'm sorry but uh, you know my bad <laughs> uh, but, yeah like favorite subscribe uh, share this video around Show this to Patricia, Patricia Hernandez. Tell her to go fucking... I'm not going to go there. <laughs> but yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And I'll see you next time.